WKBN 27 First News starts in-depth coverage now with breaking news. And the news is that two people are dead. Police say there was an altercation in New Wilmington Borough of Lawrence County. And investigators say a police officer fired a service weapon. First News reporter Simone Blair has been covering this story all day and she's live tonight at Pennsylvania State Police Barracks in Newcastle. Good evening, Dave. Yes, we do have new details that we learned from the Pennsylvania State Police. So they joined on to this investigation from the New Wilmington Police Department. Uh, so they all responded th this morning around 11 a.m. and they found a man attacking a transgender woman with a blunt item uh, that uh, man would not listen to officers directions to stop attacking her and they ended up shooting the man and he died on scene. The woman was taken to St. Elizabeth's in Youngstown and she ended up dying from her injuries at the hospital. We were able to hear a little bit more about the uh, situation from Trooper Eric Young this evening. Here's what he had to say. The New Wilmington police officer, both individuals were observed behind the residence. The male suspect was observed to be assaulting the victim with a blunt instrument and was given commands to stop by the officer. The male suspect continued to assault the victim, at which time the New Wilmington police officer discharged his service weapon, striking the suspect. There are still a lot of questions that remain about this shooting and uh, the incident altogether. So the trooper was not able to tell us whether the woman was being stabbed or beaten by the man. Uh, he also didn't know whether one of them owned the house where they were at or whether it was abandoned. Uh, so the last piece of information we don't know is uh, whether the uh, officers were worried they were going to be attacked by the man or whether it was more about him not following their instructions. We are going to continue following up on this and getting more details for you in the days to come. Uh, we were on scene all day and saw uh, Pennsylvania State Police investigating. They say that they are going to continue that and we will keep you posted. In uh, live in Mechanic Township, Simone Blair, WKBN 27 First News.